Hey y'all, hey, it's Asia Lachelle and welcome back to my channel. In this particular video, I am going to show you how to um, filter your searches on Alibaba so that you can get to the vendors that you actually want. This is a follow-up video to my video I did on how to find vendors on Alibaba. The reason why I'm doing this is that the website has changed. So when I went through the walkthrough in the video I did um, before, the website allowed you to filter. Now it's changed. So the purpose of this video is just simply to show you how to navigate the new site. I'm not going to go into depth about what everything means. I'm just showing you how to get to the filters and how to filter things now. Um, so it's not as in depth. If you want more information, very de detailed information on what everything means, then I will link the video on how to find your vendors on Alibaba below. Okay. So, um, let me kind of show you where people started having issues. I started getting questions like, sis, I can't find the filters. Um, it's not showing up. Um, for me, the way it was showing up for you in the video. So let, let me get into it. So for example, when I did the video before I would come to categories and let's say we just go to beauty and personal care and I go to false eyelashes, right? So I know a lot of people are searching for lashes. What happens is, and even if you like try to drill down, let's say you want full strip lashes. Once you drill down, all it does is gives you recommended products. You don't have any filter options. You don't even have any sort options. So you just get this ongoing running page of product that's never ending, but you never have the option to filter. And then let's say you click on something, you have to click on the listing, which opens up a whole nother page. And then you get to read information about the specific vendor. That is very time consuming and takes up a lot of time, especially if you have certain criteria that you want the vendor to meet and that you want the product to meet. So yeah, so that's the reason why I'm doing this because this new setup, doing it this way, the only thing that it's showing you is like the price and the minimum order quantity. But like for example here, this particular vendor is gonna require you to buy 30,000 sets of lashes before you could do business with them. And there are some vendors on here that only require you to buy, like this says, one set or two pairs or five pairs. So it, a lot of us, when we're first starting, don't have all that kind of coin to be buying you no know, three 3,000 or 30,000 pairs of lashes or whatever we're buying. So it's important that we be able to filter to get down to what we need. So this is simply how you get to the filters. If you want eyelashes, type in eyelashes boom okay so now we see some filtering right there's filters here on the left hand side there's sorting here I'm gonna quickly go through what you can do so now let's say I want the strip lashes because I want full strip lashes trade assurance you want more information on that you can watch the video I, I mentioned simply put it will cover you if let's say you place an order and the vendor doesn't come through on their promise or you don't receive the product or it's not up to par or something like that. Alibaba offers trade assurance where they act as a mediator to help you resolve the issue or get you your money back in the event you don't get what you paid for. Okay. Verify supplier. Basically the vendor has paid Alibaba to send a third party out to check out their their business, check out their factory and all that kind of stuff to confirm that they're a legit company. So I always filter by verified supplier. I ain't fooling with nobody else but a verified supplier. Now these other things, ready to ship, paid samples and stuff like that. Ready to ship means they have product that is ready to go out right away. They don't have to produce it. It's ready to ship out. That means the lead time should be a whole lot uh, um, faster. So your lead time might be anywhere from, you know, two to five days versus two weeks to a month that your lead time would be if they actually had to produce the product. Paid samples means these particular vendors actually allow you to purchase samples so you can test out the product before you have to place an order with them. Okay. Um, so next you have your minimum order quantity and I saw I wouldn't get into this much detail, but the minimum order quantity just basically means, like I said, 
if you only have enough money to buy 10 pairs of lashes or five pairs of lashes at a time, or let's say you're just starting and you don't want to have to purchase, you know, 20 or 30 or 100 of the same style of lash, you can say, well, I only want to deal with vendors that uh, uh, require, like this one, two pair of lashes. Okay, cool. You can go in here and you can say, I don't want to have to buy more than, let's say, five lashes at a time. You put that in. And it will filter out by that. Now, keep in mind, typically the very first listing is a sponsored paid listing, so it won't fit your criteria. But after the first listing, everything will be within your parameters. OK, so that's that price is self-explanatory. The supplier region, if you let's say like mm, I want to get lashes specifically from Cambodia or something like that because you heard they had the best lashes you can filter by country but real talk China got lashes on lock so the only country um, based on what we filter by so far that offers lashes is China so this is kind of unnecessary but the one that is important that I always say for people to select is I like to know if a vendor has already worked with clients in the United States just because we have very high quality standards here. And if you're trying to find the vendor that maybe a, a boutique that might be popping or your favorite boutique might be using and you want to try to see where they're getting their product from, you, if you select that they've already done business in the U.S., you have a higher chance of finding the plug that everybody try to hide. But if you if you sort by country, that means that that particular vendor has already done business here in the United States. So I select that. OK. So now that we've done that, we've definitely cut down on the number of vendors that we have. There's also there's also um, other filters based on like different certifications and certificates that their factories or their businesses can have. I'm not going to go over each one, but if you just click on this, it'll give you a definition of what the certification is. Like some people want their factory to be green, meaning that they're not, you know, um, harming the environment when they produce their products or that the products that they make are green. So if you are concerned about that, if that's important, if that's a part of your brand, then you can look at some of these certifications to see if these particular businesses have that. So that's how to like get into the filters. Now, if you want to know some more things that I look at, um, then again, look at that other video. Also, as far as sorting is concerned, just as a tip, I like to sort by transaction level, especially when you're trying to find the vendor that like it seemed like everybody's using you trying to find the plug sort by transaction level because let me show you what's going to happen all right so for example this particular vendor has done 3.5 million dollars in transactions in the last six months and they've done 1272 transactions what's that telling you OK, that's telling you that they are pushing out a lot of product. They have a pretty good response rate. So they respond to 92.6 percent of their buyers within 24 hours and they've maintained a 4.9 star rating out of all of those transactions. So all them twelve hundred and some transactions they've done, they've managed to maintain um the high rating and you can see some of the comments fast delivery prompt response those are some of the things that you want to have in a business right when you're doing business with them so that's why instead of sorting by the best match that they give you i like to look at the tran the transaction level and then the next thing i look at the response rate because i if i'm spending my money with you i want to know that you're going to be replying back to me in a timely fashion if i have questions here's another one They've done 1.2 million transactions in the last six months, and they've maintained a five star rating. They're verified trade assurance. They do high, high transactions. So this is a company that a lot of people go through. OK, you can see why they only require you to buy one pair of lashes from them. Right. In order to, to place an order. 
So that's that's a positive. So you got a lot of transactions. That's a lot of transactions. Now, um, what else was I going to say? I think that's really honestly it, you guys. Like, that's the main thing that I wanted to do in this video specifically was just to show you how to navigate it based on some of the things that I had discussed in a previous video. But the website just doesn't allow you to filter like they used to. So now you have to actually use the search bar and then things are now on the left hand side of the screen it, as opposed to the top it, so it's just a little different but everything else pretty much applies and is the same but those are the things that have changed if you guys have any questions please let me know feel free to leave a com comment down below um if you have any additional questions if you want more in-depth um, explanation about some of the tips i have about getting to the best vendors then definitely check out the video I have linked below. If you um, need vendors for women's clothing, kids' clothing, um, plus size clothing, uh, waist trainers, shoes, um, slides, and stuff like that, um, then feel free to visit my website at thefluffyhustle.com. Um, I definitely have that there. I also have courses on how to build your Shopify store and all that good stuff. So, yes, if you... Um, if you have any more questions, uh, definitely leave them below. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys have found this helpful and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.